This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in on this Wacky Wednesday. That's right. See, you like that. I like Wacky. Yeah, that's wonderful Wacky Wednesday. A wonderful Wacky Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. We should put on uh, Facebook and have people vote on what the days should be called. They should be. Or alternating. But I like to change them up. Yeah, I like to change them. I like to them. come up with them here in the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, so we were enjoying my pen doing that, and Jeremy was over there working on, on the pen. It's a, it's a floral design on muslin. Uh, fabric, and you've got lots of flowers to work with. I do, job. and I wanted to, by the way, we got a viewer suggestion, by the way. Yes. Let's read what she had mm -hmm. written to us. Where did it go? It's Lisa Smith. Lisa Smith said, mm -hmm. your flower project would make beautiful pillows and pillowcases or on sheer curtains. I think that is a great idea. I do. Uh, I'm wondering how they would launder is my only concern. I don't think you should wash them. You know, it's one of those things like like certain outfits you have for stage and stuff, uh, yeah. lots of rhinestones and stuff. There's certain things that you just maybe have to get the Febreze out or whatever. Febreze it and dry clean it maybe? Maybe so, yeah. But um, I'm uh, loving how it turned out. But I'm glad you're inspired to do some of that because the idea at first of, of smashing the flowers with, was bothersome to you. But yes. actually what you're doing, you're not destroying the plant. You're just using a few pieces and they take the small pieces mm -hmm. and you're making a, something that's going to be preserved that you can remember. I'm going to try it with tomatoes, too, just to see. <laughs> do, do a vegetable one. <laughs> a vegetable. And this is the tomato. Here's my asparagus. Here is the, yeah, here's the, oh, that'd be a nice stem. And then okra. And okra. And then maybe a little zucchini. <laughs> I think you should try that at home and do a video of it and bring it in. I will not do that. That would turn out terribly. Yeah, it, it, I'm going to say it's not going to have much structure to it. <laughs> it will not. It would be all a mushy mess. Yeah, it's a mushy mess. Yes, sure. I do love, speaking of the guard though, I do love it when the oh. next year comes up because sometimes <clears throat> you can't pick all the produce or you, you find one Why? and it had rotted. <laughs> so this year, I love going through the yard and finding what has been growing randomly in my oh, yard nice. from last year. That is fun. But I know we don't have much time, but what, well, tell me about the root rot. I have oh, the know. root rot. Yeah. Well, okay, we were talking with Elisa. We've had so much rain yeah. this month. Yeah. And I don't have raised beds. What I have is natural farmland. When the house was built, they brought in 18 to 22 inches of topsoil. You've seen me dig in my You're yard. You're lucky. Not a rock to be found. Mm. I don't need a raised bed. However, because of the severe rain and the flooding, yeah. even flat plains can, and can flood. So with everything planted, I went and several of my plants just, they come right out and the roots have completely rotted because of so much moisture. You need that balance of watering it and sunshine so you can't have just, you know, they're not water plants. So what did you, what did you lose? So I've lost, oh my goodness, some peppers. A lot of the peppers I had planted. Oh man, that's one of your favorite things. It's one of my favorite things. Um, some eggplant. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to reassess once I get back from LA. I'm going to reassess and maybe start some things over oh. and pray that the, the fronts that are stalled that okay. Elisa's been talking about mm -hmm. move on and we get on with summer. Okay, and maybe then you'll have an extended crop. I hope so. Wouldn't that be nice? Luckily, thank the Lord, the corn is about to macaff. You better share some corn this year. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I didn't share tell you what I found in my freezer. Oh, bring it in, bring it in. I found more corn, corn on the cob that I'd frozen, and I forgot to get it to you, my mom. That you, you forgot to give it to your mom. I, I don't had think it. I believe that. I had it on Monday on Memorial Day. <laughs> I oh, okay. It. It well, good. all right. Let's find out about the weather. Hopefully, you're not going to get any more rain for your garden's <sighs> sake. Elisa, good morning. What's the weather looking like? Not the case today, unfortunately. <sighs> um, we have. We had storms this morning in north central Arkansas that we were tracking throughout all of daybreak. Well, those have really weakened and exited, so we're not really looking at anything on the radar this morning. In fact, severe thunderstorm watch has been canceled area wide. So that's some good news this morning, but we're not out of the woods yet. More rounds of severe weather by this afternoon. That's why we have a flash flood watch in effect along and south and east of the interstate where another two to four inches of rain is possible as these storms bring rounds of heavy rain as well. We're looking at a Orange, three out of five, enhanced risk here along and south and east of the interstate for this afternoon. Golf ball size hail, 70 mile per hour winds, widespread flooding, and an isolated tornado are all possible. I do think the wind and hail threat will be more widespread, but we cannot rule out the chance for a tornado along and south and east of the interstate here. 
I do think the window for a tornado is a little bit smaller than the window for all the other severe weather. Uh, we just had that wind energy kick a little bit later in the afternoon, but it's still there. And uh, we'll have the storm start to roll after 12 noon today. The flood threat just stays widespread. So hour by hour, we're continuing to pull these storms again, tracking mainly south and east of the interstate, which is why we keep a flood threat because they just keep rolling over and over and over the same areas. Uh, we'll have things start to clear by this evening by about 9 or 10 o'clock. Maybe a storm lingers tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we'll have quiet conditions in the afternoon to mix the sun and clouds and temperatures in the 70s. So again, this has been canceled. The severe thunderstorm watch rounds of more storms this afternoon with the hail, wind and isolated tornado threat. Plus flash flooding is going to be a big issue for us. Uh, then after that, finally quiet again. This is the risk for today, tomorrow and Friday. Finally, some sunshine, quiet weather. A little bit of breathing space here in the color time weather lab. Some seasonal sunshine on Friday. Maybe a spotty storm on Saturday and Sunday, but most of us will stay dry. Jeremy Kelly. Oh, I'm looking at the weekend. Yeah, I, Elisa, can I ask you a quick question about today's weather? I'm sure. going to Kansas right after the show today. Do you think oh. I'll be okay going to Kansas? Uh, what part of Kansas? Uh, Oh, where is that? Um, it's a casino. Kansas. I'm going to a casino. Uh, Kansas crossing, Crossing. Kansas Crossing. It's it's right north of Joplin. Oh, okay. oh like kind of on the border. Yes. Yeah. So I, what time are you leaving? I would be concerned about what time you're leaving. Like because, nine. Well, I don't. So then I think you'll be fine because if you, um, what I, what I would be more concerned about is I don't want Jeremy driving in the storms while he's trying to get there, but we'll have more storm coverage than them over here. So we think once you get there, you're fine. Just check the app when you come back. Okay. What time you coming back? He's I don't need know. to spend the night. <laughs> I may have to spend the night at the casino. <laughs> yeah, because you'll wind up driving back into the storms. Um, but if you're if you're coming pretty much parallel to Springfield, it shouldn't be terrible. I wouldn't want you to go anywhere south. Okay, no, I'm not going south. I'm going slightly north. Slightly. Okay. No, I think Ish. I think it, it won't be terrible, but I would check the color time weather app, make sure there's no warnings in place as you're driving, right? I don't want hail to hit you on your windshield while Perfect. you're driving. Oh. Thank goodness, Lisa. I have it on my phone. Oh I my check goodness. it every morning. I really yes, do. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Elisa. Oh, you're welcome. You. Oh, gosh. I hate driving in rain, too, and hail. I don't like it either. I don't like it. All right. Coming up, I have a rave review of the new Netflix show, What If?, and my predictions for this weekend's Critics' Choice Real TV Awards in Hollywood. Awesome. That's coming up next. Okay. We'll be right back. I hate driving in the cold well, weather. Well, you're a very good driver in the rain. I am? <laughs>